Yo, what's up guys? Today we're watching more Looney Tunes show! And if you want us to watch more Looney Tunes show, get this video to 10,000 likes! What the fuck is that? <laughs> and if you want to access the uncut version of this video, you can access it at our Patreon at patreon.com slash spilling the milk. It helps us out a lot. And please subscribe to the channel. Number go up. Oh, it's Taz! Oh, Tasmanian Devil, because he's like their dog. They're gonna pump him full of estrogen and make him a little femboy. Fem dog. Thank you very much. I think that Tasmanian Devil, after years of inbreeding, is gonna be submissive and is going to want to be a pet. I think it actually is a like Australian stereotype that the people from Tasmania like are the incest people. Wasn't that how Australia was founded? Like all the people who were like charged with incest, oh, like they got sent to Australia. Sense. It was a crime back in the day. Now it's a reward. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it's the other way around. Is the Tasmanian devil a real animal? Yes. Yeah, it is. Aren't they extinct? I don't know. I'm gonna make them extinct. I'm on. A, I'm a man on a mission. Yo, Jamie. Jamie, look it up. Yeah, I'm on it. Jamie, can you look up if they're extinct? So it says here that they're not extinct, but that they are an endangered species. Thank you. No problem, man. Oh, I don't gamble. I, I mean, I'll buy a lottery. The booty cam. Oh, and he was he was slobbering, man. Is that why they introduced Taz into the show to integrate an IRL booty cam? Wait, Tweety Bird and. And what's the other one called? I've heard of them before. Sylvester. Are they like a competition to like Tom and Jerry or something? They're funnier than Tom and Jerry, bro. I actually don't know which one came first. The chicken or the mouse? I did! I did see a Tasmanian devil! I used to love these as, as a kid, but like just see, hearing Tweebird say, I did, I did see a Tasmanian devil. That classic line is just, it doesn't hit as hard. I have zero nostalgia for these cartoons, so um, I'm just enjoying it in the moment and I think it's cool and adorable. So how about you go back to having back problems, you millennial? How about that, huh? I wasn't even making a diss. You just roast me for no reason. Bro, Daffy was getting mad head there. Does Daffy have a duck? A, a d I mean, he's got the corkscrew, man. But we do f like bunnies, right? So f like rabbits or corkscrew like ducks to pick your own poison. Ducks don't they? I think everybody so. Does, everybody does. <laughs> everybody. Whoa! Whoa! I mean, Jesus. every species. Sorry. Oh, so I meant rap. I meant rap because everybody likes rap music. That's what I like meant to say. I'm home. A gruesome tragedy is gonna make it a lot harder to sell this house. He's selling off the house. He didn't even get permission from the price. Price reduced. reduced. But you know, like it's like whenever you see a spider in your house, you gotta burn down the entire house. Like this is basically the equivalent of that. Hey! Oh. They need Speedy around, bro. He sub he submissified that dog in about two seconds. Dude, he's like, I learned from my mother how to take out the chonkla. What an accent. That was a pretty good accent. Bro. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To take out the chonkla. Hello, I'm a Mexican. Uh, <laughs> this is what a Mexican sounds like. Hey, how are you doing? Oh my... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is a pit bull owner. This is just a reflection of, <laughs> oh of someone god. who owns a pit it's bull. A pit oh okay. Oh, the four year old toddler. He's a four year old toddler. He's eating toddlers. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Don't let your dog eat kids. Don't adopt pit bulls because they eat kids. No, do no, but that's do. actually a stigma. They're actually fine. You just gotta train that. That I made the song a lot worse. Da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Have you seen this animal? That's the guy from Spy X Family. I am Lloyd Forager. Dude, you've seen better days, man. <laughs> yeah, yikes. <laughs> That's like Lloyd Forger if like he went fucking bankrupt. He's like struggling to make it on the daily. <laughs> like if his AdSense was paused and YouTube As had no support. We're very busy. Holy cow. That woman has the pointiest boobs ever. Yeah, no, she a baddie for real. She's got like Kim Possible tits right now there they are possible those t are very possible they could possibly be in my i mean that's that's too much out of there actually just ruin that censor everything i said tasmanian devil danger <gasps> guitar lesson i was waiting i was i was like surely that was there for some reason i was waiting for <laughs> oh my i was literally i was thinking he takes I was it like, immediately wouldn't it be crazy if he just goes to the guitar lesson instead and then he just does he doesn't even need the guitar lesson he was he was strumming that shit this is my bochi the rock poochie's not a dog he's a tasmanian devil all i'm saying is with that fit it looks like he's about to drop some fire bars oh dude this is the scene i shoved my in the car door! This, oh that's literally God. where it's taken from! I, I slammed my p in 
in the car door. That's literally where it comes from. What are you doing? Slamming my pe in now? the car door. <laughs> Daffy is gonna distract them. He's gonna walk up to them and give them a Pepsi bottle. <laughs> I'm a Tasmanian devil! There he is! Get him! <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Are they allowed to shoot guns? Like, isn't this show supposed to be, like, trying to be rated PG? So probably Trank darts, but it's like, my head cannon is that those are real guns, and Daffy dies. Are you returning him? He brought him back. That's like a $3,000 flight to Tasmania. He no, he drove there with the car. <laughs> oh, he drove. that's a water car. I forgot about those. <laughs> oh my god! It's like the Pikachu can buy him a sort of Pokemon, and then he says, Go, Pikachu! And then they're like, Pika, Pika! And then he and says, then like, oh, Pikachu is my favorite, favorite Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> what the hell are you guys quoting right now? Does Ash moan when he catches Pikachu? Like what? No, not when he cat when he releases him. When he uses him. When he's done releasing Pikachu. When he's done releasing onto Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. When are you gonna learn how to swim? Swimming for losers who can't afford both. Dude, he's a duck that can't swim. Okay, but think about it. What is the color of his feathers? Oh, what is the show oh, trying to imply? What stereotype are they trying to continue right now? Not all black ducks can't swim, Looney Tunes. What's this line for? A movie. Next. <laughs> he's in the chicken audition, man. Why don't they just have Foghorn Leghorn play him? No, no, no. He's producing the movie. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh hey! my foghorn reveal. I remember being fascinated by a tale. A tale of a King Baku and his beautiful queen Yimyong. Yimyong, Queen Yimyong. She can yim on my young any day, bro. But one day, I say one day, the king found the queen in tears. Dude, I love how Foghorn Leghorn speaks. I say, I say, uh, this Queen Yimyong really <laughs> went her way. With orders to find the most exquisite turtle in the world. Wait, this is just Avatar the Last Airbender. Wait, this is that's the dragon turtle from Avatar, and that's Aang. <laughs> Bro, Aang, lay off the potato chips. It ain't the treasure, son. It's the quest. Facts, man. Just like One Piece. That's base. Just like One Piece. So basically you say I say I say a lot. Got it. He didn't even listen to the story. Mmm, that boy, I say that boy gets me. I love that Foghorn Leghorn is so into it, though. Like, he's totally down for whatever Daffy's doing. What's so nice about Foghorn Leghorn is that no matter, like, what mishap comes to him, like, the hawk always tries to eat him, he just doesn't care. He's a chill dude. Well, it looks pretty old. It could be valuable. That's all I needed to hear! So long, sucker! So, Daffy is producing a movie, and Bugs' B-plot is that he found a vase. This B-plot is a little weird. Is he gonna go on, like, Antique Roadshow? He's gonna go on Pawn Stars and try and, like, lie about it. Remember what I always told you. It's not the treasure. Dude, the first scene they record is him at his mother dying, and Foghorn Leghorn is behind the camera. The pressure is unreal. Are you quitting on me, son? Everybody else quit, so I quit. Mob mentality. Daffy is funny as hell in this episode. I, have to, his, I don't give a fuck situation, but also like the weird ways he finds to justify the things that he does is just ridiculous. What are you gonna do about it, huh, son? I'll say, what are you gonna do about it? What is wrong with him? Oh my god, it's chicken fight! It's a chicken fight! Peter versus chicken! Peter Griffin's gonna show up and beat both their asses. Daffy is Peter Griffin. Think about it. Complete sociopath, generally evil, has no remorse for his actions, and also like the funniest character. Is it valuable? Oh, I dare say. Look at this finish, how expertly executed it is. Uh, I hate these skeleton. guys. I hate Chip and Dale ripoff. I fucking don't like these guys. I don't even know their fucking names. Like, I watched so much Looney Tunes growing up. These are the gerbils that Eminem shoved up his ass, bro. That's all I needed to hear. Both the A plot and B plot resolve in just a violent fight scene. Take that! Ow! <laughs> What the fuck? I think that they should give Yosemite Sam a gun in this situation. It's only fair. You know what? Like, let him equip his items. <laughs> this is just a straight... They were like, we want to do a straight-up fight scene. <laughs> what the hell is this, What man? the fuck is happening now? This is so weird. The action is just so bad. It's, like, so slow. 
<laughs> this is the only episode that feels like it was written by a four-year-old. Every single other episode feels like it was written by like a 38-year-old who just finished doing their taxes. But no, this episode, it's just pure children brain rot. This is brain rot. I feel like I'm watching Gumball. But it's like in 0.5x speed. Well, it ain't the treasure. It's the quest. That's the lesson of this movie. Wow, the writer's guild really is gone, man. <laughs> That's actually a really good line. Very poignant. <laughs> to the credits. That was Starring. amazing. That was a masterpiece right there. I don't get it. Shut up and clap. <sighs> he fell asleep he fell during, during his, his own, own movie. He's a munch, though. Definitely a munch. My Daffy's a munch. Eat me for lunch. When she said this neighbor's a munch, she was talking about her neighbor, Daffy Duck. She's got that pecking duck, man. Oh, is Lola gonna bid like six trillion dollars? Oh, yeah, she is rich as fuck. Milf, milf! Don't let the gilf let him. Bro, all the women want to f this rabbit. This episode is already taking a turn. A hundred thousand dollars! I'm back! Lola? No the goat. way. The goat. No the goat. Way. No, no Rod! Go. No the way. Goat. Lola. Lola. If you think about it, Bugs like going out with Lola is basically him just dating the gender bent equivalent of Daffy Duck. Yeah, that's sad. Daffy has no job. And a credit score of in, 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 in negative 13. His credit score is negative 13. <laughs> Anyone? Oh! This is so oh, He's got the man. jiggle with it. He's got that. He can wiggle. He's listening. Oh my god, he can twerk! Why he can do it! Daffy Duck twerking, twerking scene! Right now? Wiggle, right wiggle, now? wiggle. Bum, 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 bum. My bachelor. Knock off the pleasantries, Grandma. Take your clothes off, Grandma. I'm, I'm trying to get this done quickly. I thought we'd clean out my attic. Clean your attic? Clean out your attic. That is a euphemism. She's got, and a, she's got a dirty old attic. It's a 90-year-old attic <laughs> you gotta clean out. It's a bit dusty. Hasn't been used in a while. I need a bit of a corkscrew to help me out. Lola, I'm not leaving the country. Oh, yes, you are. It clearly states in Article 5, Section 3 of the Bachelor Auction Bylaws that the bidder... She can't read. I don't believe this for a goddamn second. She's smart exactly when she needs to be. Lola uses 0.1% per of her brain and then all of a sudden activates like 3% to, to be able to read. Like, what the hell was that? Well, she's really smart when it comes to stalking. Oh my god. It's a three-seater, right? And then they, there's no one with them, but she still sits in the middle, bro. Like, just dump her off the plane at this point. Well, they're, like, they're dating, so they want to, like, cuddle together and shit, you know? <laughs> I peed four times. Oh. And she just said she's peed four times, but if you're going up that many times, you have to take the aisle. If you're a oh, what a peer, you take the aisle. You yeah, are never the mind, worst never mind. She's person evil. She's evil. Near. You either get a bedpan, bring a bottle, or you sit in the aisle. Those are the rules. Sure, Gatorade bottle. Big rim. You want a big rim for when you You pee. want big rim bottle. <laughs> I've I've had the middle seat before, and I didn't want to annoy the guy on the right of me, so I, I used the Gatorade bottle. I'm not afraid to say it. I haven't seen these in ages. Oh my! I've seen this episode. I remember this episode. Oh yeah, the fucking grandma flashback shit is insane. No, it's literally like a Casablanca parody. I think. Yeah, grandma's hot as fuck. She's still hot. She's still thick as hell. Like they didn't need a drawer like this. <laughs> I was told to meet my contact at the Louvre. Oh, p they didn't do the Nazi flag. They faked the Nazi flag. They did the Iron Cross. Carrier pigeon. I hate birds. Oh my goodness, that's lore. I hate birds! Guess who's in the fucking house? Daffy Duck. And Tweety Bird. Oh, Tweety Bird makes more sense. Because she owns Tweety Bird. <laughs> she kind of looks like Velma. I mean, she kind of looks like... Editor. Hey. She kind of looks like Daphne. Editor. Editor. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Nothing much. You're looking good today, Editor. Hope you're Thank you. A nice day, man. Thanks, man. Editor, can you play that Smosh clip where they're like, Editor! No. Get to work! I wasn't expecting Nazis, man. When I woke up today to watch a Looney Tunes show, wasn't expecting Nazis. It's not a first for the Looney Tunes. How do they have a fucking Nazi episode? This show is so insane. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. That's so great, though, that Bugs is in modern day France, and then it ta they're doing the flashbacks to, like, the 1940s. Yeah, the way the A and B plots link together is always really fun is the most incredible place in the world. Bro, personal space, man. <laughs> Gore goes on a date, girl tries to touch his hand. Personal space, bro. She was like breathing down his fucking mouth and not in the good way. The Mall of America's in Rome. Oh no, wait, that's in Canada. <gasps> we should go to Canada. 
Yo! Oh, look, come over, please! I got a bed. I got a bed right for you <laughs> and Bugs. You guys can take my bed. You I'll guys can use my bed. I'll watch. You can use my bed. I'll watch. I'll be in the corner. This is my c chair. This is my c chair. Bro, this is fucking great. They just made a war movie. Bro, it should be looking like the first episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood right now. Wait, Tweety Bird! Tweety Bird! Tweety Bird is gonna save her life. Wait, how fucking old is Tweety Bird? Oh my goodness, she's so cool. She's just like Daphne. She has the karate skills. What are they gonna steal the? No, they're not. <laughs> they're gonna what steal, gonna steal the, the Eiffel Tower. Tower. What? We have we're to steal the Eiffel Tower. Tower. This is like Vector from Despicable Me. Yeah, Despicable right is gonna now. steal the moon. Stonehenge, one of the old Stonehenge. Stonehenge. <laughs> Lola has not said a single correct fact of this entire episode. Like she has a flopper. You have to, like she has a dumper in the back. She does have the dumpy. I can't stand the suspense. What happened to the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower. Oh, oh yes. Eiffel Tower. She was thinking of the other time she's been Eiffel Towered, bro. <laughs> I've got like 25 Eiffel Tower related stories. I gotta sort through the list. First. A lot of them have to do with Nazi soldiers. <laughs> no one can save you now. I can't. Tweety Bird was canonically fighting for the Allies in the World War II. I'm glad we know that. The lore is awesome. Wow, the White House. She cannot say a single correct thing. You need to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, just he ends a sentence right there. You need to stop talking. Every line she finds a way to surprise me. You know, they're a really cute couple when Lola doesn't say anything. Dude, when they sh when they both shut the fuck up and look around, like, it's so cute. They can be a great couple as long as they don't like talking to each other, like... This is like the best scene to take out of context and be like, I just love how Warner Bros. depicts relationships. Can we talk about the chaos of this t scene? Tweety Bird is carrying a woman who, who are, they are both chasing a Nazi blimp, which is carrying the Eiffel what Tower. What the fuck is this episode? This what episode the hell is crazy. happening? Oh, no. You Nazi bastard. <laughs> this bird punches fascists. What? She has the Eiffel Tower behind her house. What? It's a fake. What? What? That is the craziest reveal at the end of the episode. In reality, she just gave him shrooms. <laughs> That's what she put in the tea at the beginning. I said it was a roofie. She's gonna drug Daffy, bro. She's gonna drug- she's gonna roofie him. I like both the arcs were insane and also surprisingly wholesome. Oh, and then Bugs is gonna be like, what? You went to Paris too? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That's a great way to end the episode. That was nice. Can you at least tell me if you're a boy or a girl? And if you want to find out Tweety Bird's gender, go to our Patreon <laughs> at patreon.com slash spilling the milk. Thank you to our patrons. I love you personally. I love you. Thank you, Adonis Schultz, Sun God the Last, Cosmic Dega, Brendan Madigan, Noah Holiday, Pigeon Witch, A Timely Jest, Communism is When No iPhone, Lilac Moon, and Widowers. Thank you so much.